Okay, y'all, so my images have come off the printer. One thing that I'm still not sure about when doing this is if, no matter what, the colors match. A couple times, I will say, my colors seem to have a small variation. And with something like a full blue page, you're really going to be able to tell. I mean, ever so slightly, but... Um, so what we're going to do, I like to have my bottom piece out first so that I can kind of just put it on top like that versus the other way. Or I guess it really won't matter. I kind of just like the idea of putting it on there. But So you're going to come here, get, make sure you have some scissors that are ready to play. Um, ink. I'm going to try to do it where you can see. And cut like as close to this line as you can get. And I kind of guess you could use borderless printing, but I feel like they would add another layer level of risk for getting ink somewhere outside of your like print area so if you see everything's pretty smooth right here i kind of missed a little beat which is fine um because i didn't overdo it let's see and what you're hearing in the back is more of these and you hear the alert because I don't know if this happens to everybody else, but my pages will pull more than one at a time. My printer will pull more than one page at a time. <clears throat> okay, so I put that in there. Let me see. Put that in there. You can tell for the most part. Maybe like a little tinge here, tinge there. Which to me, if that's all I have to be worried about, I'm in good shape. So kind of come here and just line it up. have a little which you couldn't tell but this has a little extra white it won't make a huge difference but I want it to be as seamless as possible and I think I did just get rid of it well you probably won't be able to tell but I did get rid of some white still have this this little white like it's ever so, ever so slight. Got it off. Okay. So this is, you're definitely going to use heat tape. Um. perfectly as possible and if it's some um, things that you need to readjust it's usually just a little slide up in one spot or another now this is where if somebody invented one of those little tape dispensers like we do for Christmas that goes on your wrist that would have been would come in handy right about now so guys when y'all take that idea and run with it just enjoy it because i know y'all aren't coming back to say hey charity your idea oh and i woke lux up it's early so i'm gonna tape here and tape and tape here 
here, flip it over on the back and kind of tape across here because when you pick it up, it may adjust, readjust, but let's see. Let's see if you can see on the camera. So for me in my angle, this looks perfect, but you can well right here looks perfect. Here you might need a little scooting. And you know what? I cleaned up the sides more than I did at first. But. I will let you know. Something like this will be in your design. that will be in the design your tape will show because it's little tiny opaque pieces that have been erased so it didn't look like it but it will so you can just take this back some and kind of fold it on itself and this is fine because in the back remember we taped it down And I'm just going to rip here. Okay, about to go 
fold my shirt up. Okay, this is my little pre-press. I don't know if you can tell, guys. Wipe this down a little bit. Um, I'm using a Cricut shirt, a uh, large. <coughs> so what I like to do, um, because sublimation is just paper, I like to line it up this way. I thought I'm gonna press this way. Well, let's see. I might actually not. It depends on the size of the shirt. Well, really, it depends on the size of the image. It's fine. I don't know if you can tell. This is just blank. So that's fine. I really would have would have and should have ripped it off. This is again one of my 11 by 17 pieces of paper that I used that I thought I was out of, but it rose again. Still had more, so I'm gonna keep using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it down in. Give a regular press. And let's just make sure I see the center down. And I'm going to go ahead and start taping my next one up. what I mean and which is why of course a 13 by 19 shirt is preference preferential you see the little variation right there I don't like it but I don't think it ruins the shirt either <coughs> so yeah crafting besties hurry up and get your paper in meet ya Okay, y'all, this is a quick video. Within my video, these are the shirts that I pressed. I do want to make note that these are 95% polyester. This is only 50%. Big difference. Um, it looks so faded in comparison. So I'm going to try to just do like regular Nina photo paper or something. I hate to do something squarish, but... Um, I think that needs to happen. It's a bigger difference. So, just a note. Don't go cheap. Get your poly count up. Because it matters. Look at that, the difference. <laughs> 